Hey guys, this is TK. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about uh, configuring WCCP on Cisco AC series firewalls and also uh, how to test this configuration using uh, WebSense Content Gateway. Uh, this is the topology that we'll be working on and uh, uh, basically I have a Cisco AC5520 series firewall and uh, WebSense Content Gateway and WebSense Web Security Gateway. Uh, WebSense Content Gateway is the proxy server basically and that will be the WCCP client and uh, the ASA5520 uh, will be the WCCP uh, in, t in WCCP terms the router or the server um, and we have a workstation here that uh, we can test the configuration uh, this workstation uh, th the way the routing is set up is that uh, this workstation's default gateway is the ASA5520 inside interface that is 10.254.254.50 and uh, we are going to configure WCCP to do a transparent proxy uh, for the uh, uh, web request coming from the client to uh, WebSense Content Gateway. And web WebSense Content Gateway is going to check the policy against the WebSense Web Security Gateway. And uh, once everything checked, uh, checked out, it's going to uh, send the traffic to uh, proxy the traffic to internet. And uh, uh, we'll see the WCCP uh, transactions uh, and uh, the end result is that the, the workstation uh, is going to have the uh, should be able to uh, browse the internet. Uh, let me quickly show uh, start from the workstation show you the configurations. Uh, on the workstation let me open up So the workstation's IP is 10.254.254.20 and its default gateway is 10.254.254.50 and this is the SA firewall so ASA firewall's inside address is 10.254.254.50 uh, which is the default gateway uh, for the workstation and right now I don't have any uh, WCCP configuration um, let me quickly uh, show you the uh, the WebSense content gateway configurations We go to networking and WCCP. If I edit the existing configuration, basically I have the uh, the, uh, the WCCP configuration already set up, and this is the secu uh, service group name. Uh, it's just uh, any descriptive name. Uh, this is uh, the most important part. Uh, it's the service group ID. This needs to match with the service group ID that we are going to configure on the ASA. And right now it's zero. Uh, and also we are going to send, uh, we are going to uh, proxy port 80 and 443 TCP. And uh, this is the, uh, the WCCP router. That is the Cisco ASA. 5520 10254450 and the method that we'll be using is GRE and also uh, this needs to be changed uh, from mass to hash uh, with the destination IP and we, d we are not doing any uh, load balancing or any kind of IP spoofing so uh, it's pretty straightforward that uh, you turn on WCCP and put these basic uh, parameters 
on uh, the WCCP client, which is uh, WebSense Content Gateway. And once you configure that, you can check the WCCP. Right now, we don't have any uh, any kind of a uh, uh, any uh, router uh, registered with the with the with the WCCP client. So let's configure the ASA based on our topology to uh, to be the WCCP router. And uh, before uh, before I do that, let me show you uh, just being a WCCP a client. Uh, what kind of a what uh, type of traffic going on on uh, on the WebSense Content Gateway? Uh, WebSense uh, Content Gateway is actually running on a Red Hat uh, Linux system. So let me quickly open up Wireshark and show you that communication. So right now you see that uh, it's sending this uh, one-way uh, WCCP message. Here I am message, which is basically it's advertising itself uh, to the network. It's a unicast uh, packet. That's uh, let me get that. It's a unicast packet that's sending towards to the uh, uh, to the ASA. Because we already set up the uh, the WebSense content gateway to uh, with this ASA's uh, IP address, which is uh, right over here. Right over here, WCCP routers. So basically, if you check this here, I am message. It's a UDP uh, 2048 source and destination, and uh, you see the it's uh, the the message type is 10, which is a here I am message, and the WCCP version that uh, the client is uh, advertising is 2, and the security info uh, right now is set up for none. If you can, if you want to use a password. Uh, with the WCCP, uh, this option is going to turn up, turn on. That I, uh, it's it's a dynamic service, which is uh, the the zero that we specify, uh, and also the the ports that uh, the client, the the WCCP, I'm sorry, the 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 WebSense Content Gateway proxy is going to proxy the port 80 and 443. And also that uh, it's uh, it's giving his its identity information uh, th with with the uh, with the hash uh, and uh, any load balancing uh, credentials. Uh, this setup we don't have any uh, any of that, and also um, the. Uh, Right now, it doesn't uh, it doesn't have any e response back for the here I am message, so it's showing as number of route routers as zero. So we, right now, we just see the here I am messages coming out of the uh, uh, WebSense Content Gateway. So let's start configuring the the firewall for the WCCP, and also we'll keep. Uh, keep eye on uh, the the uh, the captures. Okay, uh, to configure WCCP on ASA, that we need uh, to define few things. First, uh, the access list uh, that defines the clients and the users. When I when when we say clients, it's uh, it's a little bit confusing uh, terminology. That the clients. Uh, based on the documentation, is the proxy servers. The routers are the uh, are considered as uh, servers, and the uh, the users are the end users that's going to use the the transparent proxy uh, configuration. So, uh, 
on ASA we have to define that what uh, the users and also the clients uh, that's going to be incorporated with this uh, WCCP configuration so over here I have two access lists um, so basically that WCCP client access list just specify the IP address of the WebSense content gateway the source address this uh, WebSense content gateway and then the users are the workstations end hosts uh, when we define the ACL uh, uh, for the users it's safe to specify uh, not specify the WebSense content gateway also as a user by denying that uh, uh, Cisco has a built-in mechanism to prevent that kind of a loop scenario that WebSense content gateway traffic is redirecting back to WebSense content gateway uh, but we can uh, always put that deny statement to make sure that uh, uh, that that's not, not that will ne never happen, uh, never going to happen. Uh, so basically, uh, I have this deny statement for the uh, WebSense content gateway, uh, and also I have a deny statement for the local LAN, and then uh, permit any means any traffic uh, from the workstation going to to the internet. If you see that this local LAN is actually the destination, which means that the workstations talking to any of the internal network uh, will not be redirected to uh, to WCCP. Okay, so we have the cl uh, the clients, the proxy servers defined. We have the users, the in hosts are defined. So now we just have to enable turn on WCCP on ASA. Uh, so we do WCCP. This is the uh, the service identifier. Let me show you that again. This one, the service identifier, and so it's zero and uh, we want to redirect the users to group of proxy servers which is defined on WCCP client ACL and also optionally you can uh, it's uh, recommended to uh, also uh, set up a password so uh, nobody cannot uh, install a proxy server and uh, redirect traffic to that proxy server in your local uh, network uh, here I'm not going to specify a password and once I do that let's take a look at the captures so you see the uh, see the here I am message and then you see this ICU message so this ICU message is coming from the uh, the ASA uh, firewall and let's see how that looks like that's the uh, type 11 and it negotiated for a version 2 and uh, it's dynamic service which is the service group ID 0 and it negotiated the the one that the client is uh, offering port 80 and 443 for proxy and uh, also this is the the identity information of the uh, the the ASA firewall itself uh, typically it picks up the highest IP address uh, as an uh, as an identity um, also uh, you you should see the number of routers uh, to one the response coming from uh, the WCCP client which is over here so this is that uh, here I am message from now on uh, has a number of routers to one 
and uh, if you check the ASA so now you see that it's uh, it's it's picked up a ra uh, route ID for the WCCP it negotiated version 2.0 these are the ca uh, cache engine uh, it's refer the cache engine uh, uh, in terms of proxy so um, this is the the redirect list the ACL that we created and this is the um, the group access list uh, however at this point that uh, we enable WCCP and they have this uh, negotiation uh, the keep alive going on here I am and I see you this is uh, the WCCP keep alive uh, but there's no interface bar, uh, configured to redirect the traffic so we can quickly verify this that uh, we go to the client and try to browse any website we'll wait until this fails okay so it uh, it failed and uh, so now we'll enable WCCP on that interface the inside interface for that we'll do WCCP interface inside and again the 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 service identifier is zero which needs to match what you configured on the websense content gateway redirect inbound traffic so basically ingress uh, traffic once you do that you should be able to uh, browse actually it came up so you can browse the internet so it's actually uh, the, the the traffic is going from the firewall getting uh, to getting tunneled into the W uh, WebSense content gateway and the content gateway is uh, sending the traffic to the internet uh, also you can verify that uh, this is the case that you uh, you can make sure that the traffic is sending to the WebSense security web security gateway and getting the right policy by testing the database uh, WebSense database test database websense.com and uh, if you uh, click any of this uh, blocked materials uh, and you should get a block page over here and uh, this actually conclude that uh, give you a good uh, verification that the traffic is uh, following the path and then uh, getting filtered and then coming back and also you can check something permitted uh, education and that's actually uh, it's not blocked um, okay so that's uh, WCCP and also that this communication over here is a GRE communication let me quickly show you that communication uh, you saw the traffic that we was capturing on the WebSense content gateway let me show you the traffic if I capture uh, coming out from the ASA firewall uh, is here, I am, here I am and I see you keep alive go to Google All right so if I when, we, when I go to Google that this traffic over here and you see that uh, the three-way handshake the traffic actually leaving the uh, the firewall 
is actually getting GRE tunneled. You see that it's GRE uh, WCCP and then you have the the inner header so it's actually a double headed uh, uh, packet that uh, you have the outer IP header and an inner IP header and then the um, the TCP payload. Uh, so this conclude the uh, the configuration part. Uh, let me quickly show you the the final configuration uh, with WCCP. So basically, it's two commands to enable WCCP. You define the users and WCCP clients on two separate ACLs and then bind them uh, through this command and then enable it on the interface inbound and on uh, WebSense Content Gateway you enable WCCP and then configure the uh, the service service group uh, and if you check over here you see that uh, you uh, on and the monitoring tab you see that the router's IP and uh, all this uh, registration information in my next video I'll go over in detail uh, with some debugging uh, when we configure WCCP uh, on routers uh, with the same WebSense content gateway and also using WebSense web security gateway thank you